Thank you, Curtis. I'm sure I'll have some questions <laughs> <laughs> on the governor's changes. Yeah, there are a couple of things that we want to update. Um, you know, there are obviously changes in laws, regulations and practices and so on. And we also want to make sure that we're doing what the MOU says, uh, because there are a couple of areas where we've probably done some things which are slightly strange because they don't follow either what the MOU says or what our practice has been. So we're proposing a couple of um, small changes in the way we do things. The first one concerns how we do our accounts. Um, we publish our accounts. Of course, you get to approve the choice of auditors that we've proposed, and the board of directors has their responsibility to approve the accounts. But we don't believe it's relevant to put those as a vote to the membership. Um, they're a historical record of fact, and so it's very difficult to know what would happen in the circumstance members voted against the accounts, because legally, as directors, we're still required to file them. So we, we're in an awkward situation which we want to resolve by simply saying, look, you get to see the accounts, we'll present them like Malcolm did yesterday. Um, you can give us feedback as much as you like, but your option is to prove the choice of auditors and to appoint the board of directors who have the right to approve them and have the obligation to publish them and set them in company's house. The second aspect relates to the price changes where um, we feel, again, a vote against a price change would be weird. Uh, we've had that, uh, we've never had that, of course, and we're in slightly different circumstances with the inflation running at over 10%, and of course, as we all know, power inflation running even higher than that. And as Malcolm pointed out yesterday, um, you know, we feel like we need to have the option to change things if circumstances change more. We're not anticipating that for 2023, but we just reviewed our practices and felt that there is actually no need to vote on the service fees. Again, just like with the accounts, we want to publish them, obviously. We want to get feedback from you. Um, again, the board of directors is directly accountable for the budget and the responsibilities therefore lie with the board to approve the service fees. And obviously, you know, you get every visibility. We have notice periods before we can change things. So we'll follow all those things that the MOU highlights. So a couple of changes there in the way governance works, um, just to fall in line with what we've actually been doing and the way we think it should work without uh, providing the right, well, with, with eliminating a degree of ambiguity in the way we've been doing things up till now. So um, any questions for me on governance on that topic? No, okay. Well, we are gonna to go to the AGM, but because uh, people may want to choose, uh, participate online, we can't start that until 10.30. So I'm gonna let you talk to yourselves for five minutes so that we formally start the AGM in five minutes. See you back in a second. So here we go. We are now officially starting our EGM. For those of you who can't contain your excitement, we have uh, the usual disclaimer that if there are people here who shouldn't be here, please leave. Uh, it would also be nice to know if there are any persons who intend to vote in person. Can we have a show of hands for anybody who's doing that? No, okay. So we know that um, there are two resolutions to discuss and a lot of people have already voted online. We need a simple majority to pass these two resolutions. So let's get to the first resolution, which is about the remuneration for the Board of Directors for 2023, which is in the document that you've all seen. And that's to be approved by a simple majority. So that's our first resolution. The second resolution is about the links fees and the structure thereof, which were highlighted yesterday. And again, um, the consultation has uh, presented those fees to you and you've seen those out there. Those will start January 1st, 23. 
um, and we expect them to run till December. So voting happens online. Hopefully you've all received your online voting packs. If you haven't, here are the instructions for how to get them. You have until 3 p.m. today to vote. And once voting has closed, shortly thereafter, we'll publish the results of that voting to the membership list. So please do vote if you haven't already done so, so we can get everybody's input. And with that, the EGM is formally closed. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I was so uh, in a rush to end the EGM that I forgot to post the slide with the list of suspended members who are now terminated. So I don't know if we can bring that slide up, but they are Sky Vision Global Networks, and Nexio Data Centers, and CityLink Hosting. So you can see those three members have been terminated in accordance with the MOU clause listed. So that was the only piece I missed. I'm sorry about that, but there you have it. Thank you.